Hello, everybody. I'm very happy and appreciate your time who joined to us in the evening. And I would like to say big thanks to my colleagues, uh, Professor Rina Shelton, who uh, invited me to this great conference. I'm very appreciate and this, and I'm very happy and proud to be part of this conference. Today, we can speak about patient safety in diabetes treatment. Um, very often we speak about treatment, fo focus on the best treatment uh, which we want to provide our patients, uh, but um, sometimes we not speak too much about patient safety. We do the best, but according to WHO um, report, one in every 10 patients is harmed while received hospital care, and the harm can be because uh, case, case, nearly 50% of them consider preventable. Four out uh, of every 10 patients are harmed in primary with up to 80% uh, to have been preventable. 130 million adverse events occur each year due to unsafe care in hospital and like uh, resulting in 2.6 million deaths annually. Globally, the cost associated with medication errors has been estimated 42 billion annually. And in accurate and delayed diagnosis in one of the most common cases of patient harm in effect, million on patient. I think in this, in this part, big part of people with diabetes who don't know about uh, his disease, them disease. We speak very often about luck, uh, luck uh, treatment, but we not speak about over treatment, but this is public health problem. Why? Because a problematic for elderly uh, patients with a several medical condition, the use of multi-drugs can uh, trigger adverse reaction caused drug by drug drug and the drug disease interaction and changes in pharmacokinetic and pharmacorelated uh, to age. Uh, more their prescription, the higher the uh, likelihood of an inappropriate uh, medication to the risk and emergency hospital admission. You see, gl uh, glucose lowering medication uh, to treat diabetes have been blamed for up to 25% of emergency hospitalization in the USA to treat hypoglycemia. Everything that, uh, at risk, uh, health risk for patients. I find very interesting um, study which show that 11 uh, patients with diabetes uh, were potentially over-treated. You know that uh, the intensification of, of diabetic treatment is very, uh, very important for older people. And they show that over-treatment of diabetes was more common among those who were over 75 years old age. Uh, and therapy was deintensified uh, for 15, only 15% 15 over treated diabetic, but only 7% of patients with diabetes were potentially under treated. This case we must uh, change. And the recording, uh, recognizing that patients, the patient safety is global health priority, the World Health uh, Assembly adopted a resolution of patient safety and established a World Patient Safety Day. Uh, and, and now WHO uh, prepared first draft Global Patient Safety Action Plan uh, till 2030. And the uh, goal of this plan achieves the maximum possible reduction of and avoid harm uh, due to unsafe health care. And this is draft, uh, you can uh, additional uh, for this drug, uh, draft now. Safety for diabetic patients are provided the most suitable treatment to each type of diabetic and are other to improve monitoring, to prevent adverse effect of drug and complication. You see, we have a lot, a lot of aspect which, uh, uh, which related with safety of diabetic patients. Uh, and uh, of course, it's need to, we speak. We must speak about every long time. But I will speak about another things with like additional and uh, but have big influence on the uh, safety patient. 
According to uh, last report, the Economic on Patient Safety Organization of Economic Cooperation and Development, uh, this is an international organization who work to build better policy for better life. Their report estimated the cost of patient harm is big, but as we saw, as we saw, as, uh, and outlines a strategy for policy makers and healthcare ladders to improve patient safety with limited resources. This is interesting for me, for me also that assuming that individual perfection is possible will not improve safety. Humans are uh, guarded from making mistakes when placed in, in an error proof envir environment where the system, task, and process they work in are well designed. This case and beginning of improvement, um, this situation must be in transparency environment, safety uh, culture privilege. They propose to this. Uh, a very com a complicated system. Uh, you, you can see this national level, and I want to only um, underline this fundamental: the professional education tra 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 training, a public reporting of safety outcomes and safety standards, national, uh, national, and the based strategic model for patient safety stru structure, governance uh, on regulation. Uh, human capital, as we saw, training, culture, and transparency, no blame, and for remuneration, process, communication, information, material and resource, and reporting. And of course, we must learn from outcome, positive outcome, uh, neutral outcome, and near misses, uh, and adverse event. It's very important and anal analyzes everything. But more practical things, patient safety must be priority in hospital. Uh, I find very good uh, documents, was the new documents was um, developed by Diabetes UK, make it, making hospitals safe for people with diabetes. Uh, they recognized that 28% of people needed to see a specialist diabetes team during the hospital stay, but didn't. And uh, they uh, um, recommend for people with diabetes to be safe in hospital, we need multidisciplinary diabetes and patient team in all hospitals, strong clinical leadership from diabetes in patient team, knowledgeable healthcare professional who understand diabetes, better support in hospital for people to take ownership of their diabetes, better access to system and technology, more support to help hospital learn from mistake, I say. Uh, and I can add for them, for them, verify all medical procedure, make sure a patient understands their treatment, promote a team atmosphere. This is uh, maybe I didn't uh, underline, underline uh, promote a team atmosphere uh, because uh, our nurse or another people who are very close to um, uh, this patient maybe know better and know better problem, but they not um, think that they cannot change something and uh, that maybe team not appreciate this hard work and maybe will not speak about this. this use this resource also, also create a good atmosphere. And uh, a very interesting um, research about in, uh, impacting education intervention to health professional regarding the safety patient with diabetes and it was in UK. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, and they recognize it that uh, anyway, the best treatment, but uh, general monitoring of diabetic patients continue to be defective. And uh, furthermore, recent medical ad advances in treated diabetic patients have of often not been trans uh, translated into the recommendation for providing primary care treatment and monitoring. And it's considered important to provide specific uh, life loan and structure training to healthcare professional. And uh, one of the uh, research uh, shows that patient safety is key priority, must be in key priority in education initiative. It was in the UK and they recognize it. Case safety me uh, messages in must include it. Insulin is high risk uh, drug and can be fatal in incorrectly prescribed prepare and administration. Be a safe prescribe, uh, prescribe of insulin. Remember the six R, right person, right insulin, right dose, 
right device, right way and right time. Never stop insulin in someone with type diabetes uh, one. Uh, uh, hypoglycemia treat uh, promptly and prevent further hypers. Listen to patients, they are usually the expert in their own car care. Ask for help if you are unsure. Um, make diabetes management part of the clinical conversation at every board. board. Uh, challenge your poor uh, quality of, uh, of care. Where we can find uh, evidence information, of course, we use many of, uh, of us uh, research and uh, article and recommendation, uh, but I, I was very recommend uh, go to this page, European Med uh, Medical Medicine Agency, which uh, authorizes uh, medical medication to pharmaceutical marketing. And they make a very good uh, system for management and analyzing, uh, analyzing information of suspected adverse reaction in medicine. And uh, you can go and find uh, different European language, but uh, they have uh, English, of course, and find uh, last information about, uh, about medication. They every year uh, published human guidelines, medicine guidelines report. Uh, which you which show the, what happens during this year it's, it, and the, also this uh, very interesting information. For example, you can see that 19, 2019 come to endocrinology five um, five medicine and important contribution to public health at um, vaccine the treatment for severe hypoglycemia and the next um, who you know of course. And this uh, report also. Uh, published monitoring quality and the benefit risk balance of medicine used in real life on the market. And they um, uh, share with others main important uh, or main information, which is very important. Um, another resource of FDI, you know, is more easier used because it's alphabet and list of drug for which safety alerts or other ad adversary advisors have been issued. Uh, you know, it's not possible to make list for this medication, uh, my, but uh, you know exactly which medication you used for treatment and you find this information. And only one, one example about omega-3 uh, fatty, omega fatty acid. You know, this is long, uh, long information about uh, these uh, things and uh, many discussion. And uh, one of research, last research showed that uh, maybe this is probably only in doses uh, because everything, every research which was include in, included in uh, meta-analysis was with uh, doses uh, less than 1,000 milligrams. But maybe, it's like maybe, uh, if we uh, use uh, above 2,000 milligrams can't be better for cardiac disease risk. But in the same time, uh, uh, Human Report, uh, Human Medicine Guidelines Report 2018 monitoring and uh, show to us the omega-3 uh, fatty acid medicines are not effective in preventive further heart and blood vessel problem patients who have had a, hair, a heart attack and will no longer be associated to such uh, uses. In this case, I want to show that it's a need a very uh, be very careful and uh, make big research for find exactly information. Another another part: the most patient harm can be traced to value in communication. It's a lot of barrier of communication. It's only few, and uh, I want to uh, recommend to you uh, um, in, introduce this communication skills for the healthcare profession. Now, not enough. Be only doctor with high level education and um, knowledge. You, mo you must um, uh, use uh, right communication and have communication skill. Yes, this is additional job, but we, uh, but we must do this. Uh, and I only want to show uh, sometimes, of course, sometimes we speak with our patient like professor and they don't understand. And this is big influence of our out outcome treatment. 
And if you see how many, many multiplied interacting factors affecting functions have literacy, how to understand them, uh, your recommendation, and a lot of individual characteristic and uh, age and something uh, and, and other things, which we more, uh, which we must think in about this and use this information. Only general uh, guidelines for follow with patient and their family. Show respect and compensa uh, compensation. Uh, practical in uh, coordinational positive regards. Show concern and interest. Uh, practice objective, but objective does not mean being a loaf and uh, non-caring. Enhance uh, awareness and observation skill. And the risk of unsatisfaction of satisfactory communication is very high. You must protect yourself on them because it's also negative influence uh, on your treatment. WHO uh, prepare a good, uh, good brochure about in uh, in judging, patient, judging patient and family for suffer health care. This is very important uh, that they take this advocacy role in individual way, reflecting their own personal experience of heart. This is a um, uh, brochure. We can find also Arabic um, language, it's more easy to use. And uh, don't forget uh, about tips for safe diabetes friendly home. It's also uh, safety of patients, Story, storage glucose nearby, make a medical bin there, uh, give a lesson on glucagon, uh, to, to be honest, I know many, some of the uh, doctor who ha cannot manage this. Prepare for emergency, invest in monitoring system. It's not only about uh, uh, GSM and, uh, and another high level uh, modern technology. It's also about the strips, they must monitoring his blood. Uh, keep medicine separate, uh, uh, mind your feet. It's simple uh, things, but it must be delivered. And then I must uh, share with you um, uh, one document which was uh, developed by IDF Europe uh, last year. And I was very happy that I was uh, uh, co-author all this document and then with my colleagues from Germany and make a lot of research about this subject, the risk of freezing insulin in household refrigerator. When uh, storing insulin in the refrigerator at home, there is a risk of exposing into freezing temperature, which can make it less effective. And this is doctor must also uh, should ensure that the people with diabetes are aware of the importance of uh, right storage condition and uh, have uh, clinical practi uh, practice uh, advice. Take into the account that the storage uh, temperature can be factor in blood glucose management. When patients report, they believe, uh, they believe that their insulin is not working well, potential case could be exposed for, to hot or cold temperature. Uh, my, uh, my favorite subject uh, as pharmacist, at, uh, that pharmacists at multidisciplinar diabetes, uh, uh, part of diabetes team, uh, and uh, you see, it's very close with doctor. Uh, we can assist them to doctor for better outcomes. But unfortunately, many research so show that we have com a very lack communication and maybe um, uh, doctor don't understand the role of community pharmacist uh, in member of disciplinary healthcare system. Um, and also no lack knowledge about community pharmacy service. Of what is pharmaceutical care? It's a responsible provision of drug therapy uh, for the purpose of achieve defined outcomes that improve of patient safety or quality of life. We can provide many um, action. And international study confirm clinical and econo economical effectiveness of introduction integrated pharmaceutical care. Pharmaceutical intervention by hospital pharma included instance of direct avoidance of serious uh, adverse drug reaction. And more than half of pharmaceutical intervention by pharmacists contributed to avoidance of adverse drug reaction. I am hope that uh, uh, our collaboration must, uh, must make better um, 
contribution to safety and effectiveness of medication. Thank you so much for your attention. Uh, I will open for our uh, conversation. Welcome. Thank you.